This question reviews sectors and we're going to find out the perimeter of the shape AB C D. And this is formed by an arc here, an arc here, here, and two small straight edges. And to find the perimeter, we're going to find out the two arc lengths to start off with. Now the key thing here is that a sector is just a part of a circle. And for a full circle, the entire circumference is just pi times diameter, or 2 times pi times radius. So that will find an entire length around a circle. But these two lines are just a fraction of a full circle. So if I look at the arc AD, it's 80 out of 360. It is that fraction of a full circle. And its full circumference, if it was a full circle, would be 2 times pi times its radius. So 80 over 360 times 2 times pi times 5 is a fraction of a full circle which gives me just that little length A to D. Then for the arc BC. Now this is now a larger length, but it's still a fraction of a full circle. The key difference being here is that rather than having a radius of 5 from the centre, it's not 2, it's actually a full radius of 7. So from the centre to B is 7 centimetres. So 2 times pi times 7. So, to find the perimeter, it'll be this length plus this length plus the two straight edges. That's 2. This will also be 2 by symmetry. So here we go. Now, 80 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times 5 works out to be 6.981 centimetres to 3dp. 80 divided by 360 times by 2 times pi times 7 works out to be 9.774 centimetres. So the full perimeter of the entire shape is 2 plus 2, the two straight edges, plus the 6.981 plus the 9.774 which if I work it all out, just to 1 dp works out to be 20.8 centimetres in total. And the key thing again to remember is that to find an arc length, we do the fraction of the full circle using the angle and just multiply by 2 times pi times the radius, which for the smaller one was 5, and for the larger arc length was 7.